Hi, this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com, the Discovery Channel's website about all things space. And I'm bringing you guys the weekly wrap-up and preview for the site. If you're on Space Cisco, which is my blog, welcome. If you are on YouTube, click the little more info button to your right there. It should take you right to the blog. Uh, that being said, let's get to your weekly wrap-up. First things first, let's talk about NASA's Space Shuttle Endeavor. Let me toss up this picture for you. This is uh, Endeavor launching from Kennedy Space Center on Friday. So that uh, space shuttle is headed to the space station. It got there and it's undocked a new room for the astronauts, which is called Leonardo. It's Italian built, big surprise. And uh, it also brought some other interesting things with it. One is a water reclamation system, which is a fancy way of saying pee, urine, uh, sweat, perspiration recycler. So this thing takes all the water in the space station uh, and it turns it into drinkable water. It's not going to be up and running until next year and approved for use, but uh, they're putting it in this mission. Also, they're bringing up a new toilet and bathroom for the space shuttle. Uh, they've had some problems in the past with International Space Station toilets. Uh, you get a clog in space, there's no plumber to call, so I never understood why they didn't just bring one of these, but you know, maybe that's me. Um, also, not sure if you heard the huge news, this is a picture of Fomal Hut, which is a star system about 25 light years from us. And within it, by taking two pictures, one in 2004 and one in 2006, astronomers saw this. And this is kind of tiny, it may not be easy to see. But there are two little points here. One is the 2004 picture, one is the 2006 picture. And that is an exoplanet that is, uh, has an 870 year orbit around it, that star in the center of the last picture. That's really cool, that's one of the very first exoplanets ever imaged directly uh, from Earth with visible light. That's that's a huge deal, and in fact, it wasn't the only one. There were three more that astronomers discovered in another star system. So that's huge news, and it really shakes things up. If you go to the site right now, you should see a little IM interview I had with Sarah Seeger, and she's an exoplanet expert, and I'll put a link up in the blog for you, so it should be right down there. Um, that being said, if you know this guy, this is Michael Griffin, who is NASA's current administrator, and he's kind of worried about his job. And I want to tell you about something in a little bit here, so let's go to the weekly preview. Uh, first up, you guys can expect this video. You can also expect a student guest post by Michael Lane, who is the CEO of Liftport, uh, which is an eleva space elevator company, companies, plural, I should say. And they want to get a space elevator up in 30 years. But anyway, he went to International Space University, which is a really interesting experience, and he is going to be blogging for us about that for a couple weeks. So check the site for that. On Tuesday, going back to this guy, Michael Griffin, uh, we have a Q&A with him that uh, we're going to put up. And basically he's talking about um, the future of his job and the future of NASA and uh, space exploration in general. So that's really cool. On Wednesday, I wanted to get you guys a top 10 worst ways to die in space last week. So I'm going to try and get that to you Wednesday. And on Thursday, I have a my take on the death of Phoenix because, as you know, last week, um, the University of Arizona and NASA officially announced uh, that Phoenix wasn't responding, so it's dead. You know, it's frozen on top of the red planet. And I have a my take coming in from one of the top guys on the Phoenix team, uh, lamenting its loss, but also telling you all the cool stuff it's done. And on Friday, I'll finish your week with a space photo quiz and probably a puzzle, um, visions of Mars. So all these cool images of Mars, and you can break them up and put them back together again. But anyway, thanks for visiting and watching this video.